So I'm kind of still in my jammies, hence the pink. I was wondering, you're not normally in your usual black black artillery. <laughs> I know, I like it though. Pink is nice. It, it suits your lovely colour of your yeah, skin. Right. Yeah, but take another swig. Okay. <laughs> so we seem to have right, our compliments. best material when you're in crisis. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I should just Would you like you up with the it? audience a recap, darling, of how we got here? Uh, I don't know. Oh, like for this impractical shit, do you want me to replay last night's crisis? Uh, well, just enough because really what I wanted to say and what I'd forgotten or we didn't get up to because we had such yeah. wonderful internet connection was we talked about CERN. Yes. Right? <sighs> I mean, really? CERN? CERN falling? Hello? Mm -hmm. Okay, CERN. (laughs) Third time. Third time. Third time lucky. Okay. So I kind of said to him, you know, what do you think about CERN? Because we were having quite the spiritual gossip. Mm -hmm. It was great, you know. And um, I have to hear more about the spiritual gossip. Oh, I know, right. Obviously. Definitely off camera. (laughs) I don't kiss and tell. So, um, yeah, it was all about kissing and telling. Concern, concern for CERN. Thank you. So I said, you know, oh, what do you think about CERN? You know, and he was saying, oh, you know, sort of thing. And I said, oh, do you think I'm a bit gung-ho in my approach? <laughs> but it was really good because he gave me some hints on how to sort of refine the bullet <laughs> aspect. And... Um, he explained a little bit more. I started to understand more about what the actual mechanism is. It's from my understanding of what he said. It's like there's all these sort of, you know, satellites or whatever around and they're gathering information on you. And as they gather the information, they create a predictability spike or whatever, a predictability run about you. And accordingly, they can play. So, mm. in, you know, for me, my understanding that came from that are our defences. Number one, stay in the neutral. And number two, mm. get unpredictable. Means you're not acting out of rationality in a way. Well, not acting out of old patterning. So if you don't want to do something because you're scared, that's old patterning. So mm. and. Um, fuck with you. Like when the a video didn't appear, you know, their first reading with me didn't appear and I'm like, <laughs> the jilted prom date. <sighs> Love the internet. If anyone's watching and they can hear me see and what she's doing is she's saying it's fucking frozen my end. When she does that, it's saying she can finally hear me. Just a little aside, Mr Abbott. This is what it's like to have internet for every Australian. Fuck off. Get it working. Honestly. All right, I'm back. I caught that one, but, yes, I totally agree. Fuck off. Fuck off, Mr Abbott. I love you. (laughs) All right. Mm. Um, Love you, Mr Abbott. Mm. That was CERN talking. So (laughs) that was unpredictable, wasn't it? I love you, Mr Abbott. Well, I love you, Mr Abbott. That's unpredictable. Mm. So um, when I'm saying unpredictable, it's like don't go into your old patterning. So maybe with that, do you want to say what happened for you last night? Okay. So basically I went for a ride and I was was trying. There we go. Trying, right? There's the first thing. Exactly. I was in the process of surrendering into the neutral space to try and achieve a particular oh, reality that I dreamt, right? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, trying, trying. And Okay, well, hang on a sec because I don't think that they have enough of the background in this. What's happened is Teresa's gone into her experience and dreamt her new house. And in doing that, she wants more detail. So she's going in to find more detail. Mm-hmm. And... Um, I kind of went into not desperation, but definitely like oh, yeah, sister. Give me a name, give me a something, give me a and from the trying and not actually surrendering into the neutral, 
it stressed me out. Okay, I, I couldn't actually shake. Um, well, actually, there was this build up of stress that was over my heart space and I couldn't actually shake it suddenly it was just locked on in and no matter what I did it just it kind of got worse even when so it went as to it's getting talk. worse you're getting more fucking yeah and so I tried, tried to go back into the neutral and it just wasn't fucking happening. And so in the end, after about, you know, 15 minutes of this shit, I just went, fuck it, and I came out. And as I was um, coming back into my waking state, doing whatever, I just felt this emotional, just mm, completely restrictive twistedness around it. And... I wanted to cry for no fucking reason and it was really stressing me out. And so I tried to do Peniel's Stargate to it and try and push it away. But this innate sense, not innate, this, this sense of not trust, not being able to say it just overtook and I just, I just felt I couldn't do anything about it. So I was like, Vicky! And that's where I <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> Just to let people know they can put me on retainer. No, seriously. Well, the thing is, is that I really did. Look, I dig it. That's attempt to do it myself, and it just, yeah, need a little bit of. Yeah, no, but look, you know, sometimes you do need help, and that's okay. That's okay. Mm. So, I mean, the thing that we were talking about then is once we went in and cleared it, it was about the fact that you'd gone into doubt that you could connect with this space, and straight away you were open to manipulation. Mm hmm. Right, that's really what had happened. So, as far as you know, this idea of our protection, well, of course, you to get back to sacred neutral. And I mean, you know, you were had to go to work, so you were in a panic, so you called me. If you had have done it yourself, you would have got there. It was just yeah. for you know convenience and oh shit, I can't go to work like this and blah blah blah. Yeah, you know, there was nothing wrong with that. You would have got there eventually. So, I mean, mm -hmm. then we talked about you becoming unpredictable and the most unpredictable thing you could do was not succumb to the fear, not succumb to the fact of the doubt. So it's yeah. like we're saying unpredictable. I don't mean you have to run around town in your undies with a fucking pot on your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, don't, don't do the patterning. Break out. Yeah. Well, I, it was basically I was saying in the Atlantean secrets when the initiate has that aha, when he looks around him and sees and he becomes unpredictable and the world doesn't know how to react to him. Yes, yeah, that was how, that was his awakening moment. Many hints in those books, many hints. But, of course, you know, it's the layers. Yeah. I didn't get that when I first read it. I'm only getting it now. No, and I've just got it now going, oh, that's so true. Right? Yes, yeah. They become unpredictable. Mm -hmm. And if I'm unpre not buying into the shit, yeah. And if unpredictable yeah. means you know all of a sudden hugging your enemy out of nowhere, holy shit, that's going to put everyone off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. What if you weren't frightened of CERN? What if you thought it's just a matter of time I can override this or someone else will? What if you thought that? That's unpredictable because they're hoping you think Big Brother's going to fucking get me. Yeah. Mm -hmm.